I'm a scientist. I, you know, I'm very skeptical with pretty much everything. And, uh, and so I, I really had thought that this wasn't going to work at all. And we tried it on a nurse and I, and I had to take the measurement several times after that because I just could not believe that her, her peripheral circulation increased by 100%, so it doubled. Let's, again, still being skeptical, let's design a clinical trial and we'll look and see how it affects people. She was healthy, but let's see how it affects both healthy patients uh, and, uh, and people with diabetes. You can't increase the circulation everywhere in the body because you only have so much circulation. You have to move it from one place in the body to the next. And, and so what, what this therapy does is it probably moves, the, shunts the circulation to peripherally. And, and it moves it, and peripherally could be the skin, which is your largest organ, as he was saying. And it probably reduces the circulation to your gut and then improves it in the, in the other parts of your body. Uh, and, and certainly people have claimed that they've had um, you know, better thinking afterwards and, and better ability to concentrate and more energy, so it probably does increase some of the circulation in the brain. There's a lot of possibilities here, and, and we're really excited about the future of what this could provide to people with microvascular disease.